Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. This is the new playlist guys that I have created for you that is WordPress with jQuery UI tutorial for beginners and this is basically our first part. So first part guys in this video session we will discuss about the introduction or what will be the execution plans for this playlist we will discuss in this video session and also guys if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions of online web tutor. If you have started this is your first video of this channel then guys I strongly suggest you that you should watch of all our previous video sessions where actually we had discussed about the several customizations in WordPress. As you can see we have created lots of playlists of WordPress where actually we have discussed under the deep co concept of WordPress customizations like custom post types, like Metabox tutorial, shortcodes API, plugin data and security as well as the complete WordPress development as well as we have seen about the JSON REST API concept. Okay, many more concepts actually guys we have seen in the whole playlist of online web tutor. Okay, so basically guys from this video session we are going to discuss about the concept of WordPress with jQuery UI tutorial. So first let's understand about the jQuery UI okay so basically guys we have a official website of jQueryUI.com as you can see which provides us a bunch of library file to attach in our project and make use of jQuery UI concept. So if I go to left sidebar as you can see in the section of interactions where we have draggable, droppable, resizable, selectable and sortable and many more widget sections that we have okay so if I click on travel section so basically inside this section guys as I scroll down if I click on view source this is the code actually this visit area has been used okay and this is the code so this is the draggable method actually it uses and this is the selector means it is the div ID and here is the div ID okay so just scroll up if I just as you can see that we actually move this widget in this surface area okay this is called the draggable where actually we can drag anything into the surface so there is bunch of functionality guys actually jquery ui provides but now the main thing is to understand is that to use the properties or the features of jquery ui we have to use the two files called jquery ui.js and jquery file this jquery file guys this is the main file to use and this is the jquery ui file okay so basically guys wordpress default supports all these features we don't want to include any of the files like jquery or jquery ui file wordpress provides default features as of these files so how can we find the default features or the default files actually the wordpress contains okay so just back to this is the folder structure guys that we have created for this whole playlist called jQuery UI. Okay, so just go to inside WP includes. Inside WP includes guys just you have to go inside JS folder. Just I'm going to click. Inside this jQuery you have to click. And now inside this jQuery guys we have a folder called UI. Just I'm going to click. And now inside this UI folder as we can see there are many of JS files that actually WordPress provides. Okay, this is accordion.min.js, autocomplete.min.js, button.min.js, and many more. And here we have draggable.min.js. These all JS files are guys of jQuery UI of each properties that we have seen. Okay, so if we back to browser, all the features that actually we have seen inside this jQuery UI section like draggable, droppable, resizable, selectable, sortable, all of these library files actually available here. Okay, so just I'm going to click on sortable section. So basically WordPress provides a common file for that. As we can see, we have a common file of jQuery UI actually WordPress has included. This actually library has contained all the properties of these features. But in WordPress, jQuery file has been divided into separate sections. Okay, so if I go to folder structure. So now if suppose I'm going to use the sortable property of jQuery UI in our WordPress setup. Okay, so for that we have to use called sortable.main.js because this is a separate file to use the sortable feature. Just back to browser and now as we scroll up as we can see a feature is called dialog box in the widget section. So just I'm going down and this is the dialog box. Okay, so if I want to use the dialog box in our jQuery this is the simple dialog box actually provides. Okay, so if I click on view source 
this is the code for our view dialog box in jQuery UI. It also uses us the same library file actually the jQuery UI has provided. Okay, and this is the dialog method. So how can we implement this dialog box in our WordPress setup? So basically to implement the widget sections of dialog box, just go to folder structure and now we have a library file called dialog.main.js for implementing the dialog box in our WordPress setup we have to use called dialog.main.js file ok so basically guys in our WordPress setup each and every feature of jQuery UI has been divided into separate sections of JS file ok so along with if I want to use the jQuery CSS file so how can we achieve that so just back to now so just go to WP includes folder means this is our folder structure click on WP includes and now inside this CSS folder we have bunch of CSS of jQuery UI as well as the default behavior of WordPress okay so here as we can see that jQuery UI dialog.css this is the file actually guys WordPress provides for the CSS of jQuery UI okay and many more CSS you can find inside this folder so now we have a question right here Question is that that how can we use these features to our WordPress project? Question is simple and now the answer will be simple. Okay, just go to WP in QScript. This is the official documentation of developers.wordpress.org slash reference slash function WP in QScript. This is a WordPress function guys basically used to include the JavaScript files, JavaScript library files to our WordPress project. Okay, it will accept some of the parameters from us. Okay, we have discussed many times about this function in our whole playlist of online web tutor. Okay, so just I'm going to scroll down. As we can see that inside default scripts included and registered by WordPress. As we can see there are many syntax actually WordPress has defined. Okay, so like jQuery UI button, jQuery UI button and now this is jQuery. So what this actually represents and now what this actually represents. So if I scroll up this is the handle and this is the needed dependency it means that this is if suppose we want to include the dialog box in our project okay so for that we have to use called jquery ui dialog by including this means wp in q script and within this wp in q script function we have to pass this parameter by adding this parameter actually wordpress picks the jquery dialog box library file from its folder structure but now before including that we have to need a dependency of jQuery so before using this file we have to use jQuery file in the second example guys we can understand that if suppose we want to use our autocomplete box in our WordPress project so before using that we have to include a needed dependency called jQuery and now after including this file we have to use called jQuery UI autocomplete by using this parameter inside WP in Q script WordPress picks the JavaScript file that is stored in JS folder so it's something like that if I go to JS folder inside this JS folder jQuery and now UI folder so by adding that parameter WordPress actually uses autocomplete.main.js file okay so after adding the parameter called jQuery UI autocomplete WordPress actually picked that file so basically guys this is the list of all jQuery UI events as well as the jQuery dependencies okay so along with guys these are the jQuery features if I suppose want to some of the features or the effects for our means dialog box suppose we want to use some of the effects for our WordPress dialog box sorry jQuery UI dialog box so how can we achieve that so with an official website that is jQueryUI.com slash dialog okay so if I click on effect section this is the effect section of jQuery UI just I'm going to click on effect and now inside this effect guys we can see that the bunch of effects actually provided by jQuery UI this is the dialog box okay and these are the options suppose if I click on bounce run effect this is the effect actually affected by our dialog box suppose fade run effect and this is the effect let's say that explode and this is the effect okay so how can we use these effects to our WordPress setup of jQuery UI Okay. so to use these effects guys we have also a library for files for that as you can see that jQuery UI effects blind jQuery effects hyphen sorry dash bounce jQuery UI effects clip jQuery UI effects drop 
So basically to use these features guys we need to include these library files as you can see jQuery effects bind, blind, jQuery effects bounce, jQuery effects clip and many more. Okay, And now dependency has been changed for these files. After including these files we have to use a dependency called jQuery effects core. Okay, before using that, suppose if I use this library file, so how can we actually WordPress fix this file? So if I suppose use jQuery UI tabs or instead for effect jQuery effects blind. After including this inside the function called WP Increase Script, WordPress actually pick these are the effects as you can see that effects hyphen sake dot mean dot js effect hyphen size dot mean dot js effects hyphen slide dot mean dot js so these are the library files actually wordpress has picked about including the jquery effects in our wordpress setup so basically guys all these concepts we will discuss from the next video session this is our introduction part so how can we actually use jquery ui in wordpress and how the wordpress default supports jquery ui features so all we have seen about the css all we have seen about the jquery ui library files and all as well as we have seen about the effects that actually wordpress uses about jquery ui okay so how what is the execution plans for this playlist we will see each separate section law of jquery ui like draggable droppable resizable like selectable sortable and all these widgets we will use in this playlist by using the default wordpress feature so by the help of this video session guys actually I have made the clear concept about the WordPress default behavior with jQuery UI where we have seen about the JS library files, CSS files and the default in script methods or the parameters that we have seen in the official website. Okay, so all these effects, all these features we will use from the next video session. So in this video session guys, if you have any query then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day.